Now, usually the circles question is in section B. And what that means is that it can be multi-layered and have several parts to the question. And they're often going to include a lot of coordinate geometry um, that we've met before, but it's all going to be put into one place. Okay, So we're going to need to have a method and a methodology of solving these types of problems. And diagrams really do help. They are your friend here. So I'm going to work through this exam style problem. The points A, B and C are joined to form a triangle. Right, before we read any further, it would make sense to do a little diagram of where A, B and C are positioned. So A is at minus 1, 0, so that's where A can be. B is at 3, 2, so it's further along and slightly up. So that can be B. And C is further along still, uh, but it's going to be a little lower than A. OK, so there's C at 5 minus 2. And these are formed, uh, sorry, they are joined to form a triangle. OK, that's a very poor triangle, but we can kind of get the shape. Now, show that AB equals BC. So... If AB is equal to BC, what we can do is a little bit of Pythagoras on it. AB, the distance between A and B, okay, is the square root of, well, we've got minus 1 to 3, okay, so that's 4, so 4 squared, plus the vertical distance from 0 to 2, so that's 2 and squared, okay, done that very well. So we've got 4 squared plus 2 squared. So 4 squared is 16, 2 squared is 4, so 20, so it's root 20. We then have BC, so if I write on that's root 20 onto my diagram. For BC, what have we got? Well, another right angle triangle, now we've got a base from going from 3 to 5, so that's 2 squared. And a height going from 2 to minus 2, so that's 4 squared. So it's the same, root 20. Okay. So therefore, what we've done is we've shown that AB is equal to BC. So we can tick that off. So on my diagram, I'll erase the two triangles that I've drawn there. And I'll make sure that I've got root 20 and root 20 on. OK, so what's the next bit? The next bit says, find the gradients of AB and BC. Show that ABC is a right angle triangle. So the gradient of AB is the difference in the y coordinates. So 2 take away 0 divided by 3 take away minus 1. So 2 over 4. So 1 half. So the gradient of AB is a half. And we also want to find the gradient of BC. So gradient of BC, 2 take away minus 2. So the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x's. So 3 take away 5. So we're going to get 4 over 2. Uh, 4 over minus 2, sorry. So that's minus 2. Now, show that ABC is a right angle triangle. Well, because 1 half times minus 2 gets me minus 1. So when I multiply the gradients together and I get minus 1, that tells me that AB and BC are perpendicular. So therefore, ABC is a right angle triangle. OK, so AB and BC are at right angles to one another. And so I have a right angled triangle. In fact, I have a right angled isosceles triangle because we have two sides of the same length. So I've done that. 
and that was one half and that was minus two in case I need to use them again, okay? So I've done part two, or B. Now C, find the exact area of the triangle. Well, the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. So the base, what I can do is I can look at this, because it's a right angle triangle, as just that being the base and that being the height. So root 20 times root 20. So 1 half times 20, which is 10. And so the area of the triangle, the exact area of the triangle, is just 10. Right, what's up next? Find the equation of the line of symmetry of the triangle. Now, what this is identifying is because it's right-angled and isosceles, the line of symmetry must come down through this way and make a right angle with AC there. So in other words, what we need to do is we need to find the gradient of AC and then use the negative reciprocal to find the gradient between B and this midpoint M, we'll call it. So, gradient of AC is equal to 0, take away minus 2, over minus 1, take away 5. So, difference in Y divided by difference in X. So, we're going to get 2 on the top and minus 6 on the bottom, so minus a third. So the gradient of BM is going to be 3. So I, can, I know that the equation of this line is y is equal to 3x plus c. And then I can substitute in the coordinates of B, so 3, 2. So I'm going to get 2 equals 3 lots of 3, so 9 plus C. And so C is minus 7. So the equation that I'm looking for is Y is equal to 3X minus 7. OK, all right. Now, E. Show that the equation x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 39 equals 0 represents the circle with centre A passing through C. OK, so what we're talking about now is a circle centred at A passing through C. And so there is this circle, <laughs> that was poor, but going around, going through C, centred at that point A. So if I find the length of AC, so AC, the lap length there, then that will give me the, um, or the length between A and C, then that will give me the radius of the circle. So we have a base between minus 1 and 5, so that's 6, and a height between minus 2 and 0, so just 2, so 6 squared plus 2 squared. So we have 6 squared is 36, plus 4 is 40, so square root of 40. That's the radius of the circle. And so the equation of the circle must be x minus 1 squared plus y minus 0 squ squared. Or sorry, x plus 1 squared plus y minus 0 squared is equal to the radius squared, so 40. So what I want to do is I want to expand this into this format. So x plus 1 squared is x squared plus 2x plus 1. This is just y squared, and I've got 40 on the right-hand side. So I've got x squared plus the y squared plus the 2x. Take 40 from both sides. 1 take away 40 is minus 39. And that gets me to exactly what they wanted. <clears throat> then, finally, okay. 
Finally, we have, if I just uh, raise that little triangle there in case I need it, and I know that that length is now root 40. Find the x coordinates or x ordinates of the points where this circle cuts the line of symmetry of the triangle. Give your answers in exact form. So we can see that the circle will intersect this line of symmetry at two points. So what I can do is I can replace the y in here with that y there. Because effectively I'm working out where the line intersects the circle. The word intersect means that I'm going to use simultaneous equations. So I'm going to substitute this equation into that one. So we have x squared plus y, so 3x minus 7 squared, plus 2x minus 39 is 0. <coughs> So, what do we have here? We're going to have x squared plus 9x squared. We've got 3x times minus 7, so minus 21x. So, take away 42x plus 49 plus the 2x minus the 39. Now, we want to tidy this up. We've got 10x squared there. We've got minus 42x plus 2x gives me minus 40x. 49 take away 39 is just 10. I then want to divide everything through by 10. Okay. Now this isn't one that I can factorise. Um, I can use uh, completing the square or the quadratic formula here. I'm going to go with completing the square. So x minus 2 squared, take away 4, <coughs> plus the 1, equals 0. Minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. Add it to one side, so I get it equal to 3. Then I can square root both sides. So x minus 2 is plus or minus root 3. Then add 2 to both sides, so x is 2 plus or minus root 3. So the x-ordinates are the points where this circle cuts the line of symmetry of the triangle is, well, this one will have 2 minus root 3, and this one will be 2 plus root 3. And that's how we can answer that final question.